So here also we have males and in this directory also we have males. So I'm going to say ls So what's the difference? Well, spool as the name itself suggests here or as you can take a hint here before you sent out an email okay, before uh, you send let's say or before you have given a print job here so before it prints out I mean you have given 20 prints 100 prints out, 100 sheets entire book, entire PDF file so before it prints out you know if the printer is, it cannot hold all the 100 sheets I mean it, memory in the printer is not that big maybe others are printing too so until the that information is sent out to the printer okay to for the to print something that information will be stored in spool okay <coughs> so that way <coughs> that way it will be saved here and w what about the mail okay so before you sent a, uh, sent an email you know before you send an email to anyone uh, before you sent out something before you send out those mails, they will be stored in Spool. So once you uh, click on send, or you have like 100 emails sending at a time, so before it, it sends out all of them, you know, they, will, they can be found here. You know, Spool, before it actually goes out of your unit information, that information will be under Spool. Whereas this mail directory contains those mails that you have received. Alright, all your mails will be here. Okay. <coughs> So I'm going to say cd slash dura So uh, that's, uh, that's how you do it. Right, so I'm going to say cd dot dot ls slash ver slash tmp. It holds all temporary files which has to has to, no, which has to, okay, has to, has to have repeated it. <laughs> Okay, let me delete that. All right. Okay. Which has to exist more than the time period allowed in uh, right allowed in the slash temp. No files will be affected by the system reboots. What does it mean? Well, so all temporary files which has to exist more than the time period allowed in this. Temp, temp directory, no files will be affected by system reboots. That means we have two temp directories. We have a TMP or temporary file directory here. So whenever you're doing something temporarily, the, the, those things will be stored here, or you're downloading something from the internet, they will be you know, done here first, and then you know, it will, they will be saved somewhere, right? Uh, uh, if you, let's say, if you go to Adobe website and want to install the Flash Player, and if you click on run there, so what is it's going to download that file to the temporary folder and then it's going to run it automatically, right? It's the same way here. But there are some things, you know, so there's some temporary files, you know, which you want them to stay for a longer period of time than what is allowed in, you know, in this temp directory. So in that case, what you do is, you uh, in that case, those things will be stored here. <clears throat> As you can see, KDE cached out visual. So I logged into KDE, right? KDE desktop. So all that cache, the temporary information, is stored here. So even if I, let's say, reboot the unit, I mean, I log out. I, as you can see, I mean, I logged out, right? Logged out of the KDE and then logged into GNOME desktop. But I still have that information here. So it. Uh, so it will not be deleted automatically. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it's not. Actually, most of the times it isn't. Right? They will not be affected by reboots. Yes, they will not be affected by reboots. Then we have... Hmm. Let's move it a little bit here. Okay. A little bit further. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. We have slash us 
user. What user? Is it a user? No, most of the, I mean actually I also thought, you know, when I saw that slash user, okay, user means user directory. No, it's not. It's a disk-based Unix system resources file system. So what is Unix system resources? Right? I mean, as you know, Linux is I know it's it was actually you know, it's derived from uh, derived from the Unix. Okay, so all that that you see here, right? It is here. So all all, all that you see here is from uh, no, not all of it. I mean, most of the things. I mean, almost all of the things have been replaced by GNU, right? Uh, from the GNU project, all the tools and you know utilities. But always, you know, it will be. Uh, it will make, they will make sure you know, it is compatible with Unix. I mean, that was the real motto behind the you know, Linux expert. Uh, or you know, that is what uh, you know, Richard Stallman wanted to do. So I think it's going to be the same. So uh, slash USR, you know, it contains all this binary data and other data, you know, which will make sure you know, it is compatible with that. So I you know. Then under USR, uh, we have slash bin contains additional user executable binary data or commands that will that self explanatory where it contains all the other commands that uh, users can run then user slash sbin and uh, it contains uh, additional commands run by me or the root user then we have uh, user slash local a local repository for system administrator for storing tools and commands which might have been uh, developed in house okay it's a uh, <clears throat> right, so which have, might have been developed in house. Okay, let's move it. Develop in house, downloaded or added from the web. That's, that means, let's say you have some additional commands, you know, you go ahead and now and download them from the website, or you develop a tool. You know, you're a programmer, you develop a tool, and those programs or something, you know, they will be go ahead, they will be stored here, okay? Stored inside that user slash local, okay? In user slash local slash bin stores the commands, etc, you know, etc directory, okay, that stores the configuration files, and man stores the manuals, okay? If you have written it. Alright, if you have downloaded it, of course, most of them, you know, they will give the man pages too, so the man pages will be stored here. Then you have, under USR, you have include. It includes C language header files, those of you, you know, who are C programmers, developers, you know, they will, you know, you, you guys, you know, will use it a lot. Alright, it will be used a lot. And then we have um, USR slash share. This is a shared directory for Linux Unix platforms with heterogeneous hardware architectures containing manuals, man pages, documentation, sample, templates, configuration files, system tools, etc. As the name itself suggests, now it contains, I mean as I told you earlier, you now it, it is actually uh, Linux will be compatible with you know, Unix platforms and such you know, compatibility, hardware compatibility and, you know, and all those you know, documentation, sample templates and configuration files that makes it possible will be here. Okay. Then we have library, you have a library folder in, uh, inside USR, uh, Unix system resources folder, our directory, okay, library files related to programming, okay, of course. So programmers, and then we have uh, temp slash temp. I mean that's on the top. Okay, so we're not inside uh, USR directory anymore. We are in. Okay, we are above that. CD slash temp directory ls. So. We have all the temporary files here. <coughs> Isn't that great? See? All these temporary files. System monitor. GNOME system slash monitor.kju. Okay. All the 